here at the scenic overlook above the city of Jerome, Arizona. It's pretty scenic back there. <laughs> it's Look, gorgeous. You can see like way over there. So we're hoping to find a, bunch a of rocks. Parking... We're hoping to find a parking spot down in the town of Jerome. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. It's yes. a tourist trap. But there's a cute restaurant called the Haunted Hamburger. Appears Jerome has a lot of ghosts. Yep. Kind of like Gatlinburg, I think. Mm. There's a lot of ghost tours. We can link our um, video for Gatlinburg. I'm a little scared. I know, right? <laughs> it should be fun. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. Ain't that the truth? If you climb up the road, it's windy and curvy, but you'll come up above Jerome, Arizona. And there's a beautiful overlook here. What you see of Jerome today is 10% of what used to be here. Wow. We were famous for having 24 saloons, 18 brothels, three churches. Because you got to have priorities. And the New York Sun claimed, dubbed us the wickedest city in the West. Yeah, we're, we're, we're this little town you probably heard of in Nevada's big sister. It's called Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. It's Clark County. Well, the owner of the mine here is William Andrews Clark. It's named after him. Yes, yeah, so we have t we have ties to the whole world here. If you go straight past the Jerome Fire Department, there is parking and a free shuttle service that runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there is extra parking at the top of the hill because it is crowded downtown. Um, and even if there is parking downtown, it's so narrow, right? Yeah, but it's beautiful. Definitely the views are to die for. And there is absolutely no parking here overnight. Jerome's an older kind of ghost town that was settled in the late 1800s. So this is a head frame. This is what they used to raise and lower people in and out of the mine. And this is Audrey, because this is what we thought of women named Audrey. She's tall, she's leggy, she's a redhead. <laughs> She is the main entrance to the Daisy Mine. Now this behind us, that's the safety shaft. That's Edith. I think that's self-explanatory. But Audrey is the tallest wooden head frame in America, and she is one of the last wooden head frames, if not the last wooden head frame. She is original. She's kind of a big deal. And if you, if you think she's cool, I have better to show you. Because this is the Audrey Mineshaft. So come on over, join me. Kind of awesome, right? Is there a light? Uh, it's, it's out right now, unfortunately. The best way to see it though is through the, through the grate on the side. And this will tell you how deep Audrey is. Wow. And then this is what you got to ride down in. This is the lift. Step on in. Now, I want, I, I want all three of us in here because I want you to experience this. Now imagine 25 minutes in here to get to the bottom. We could have a lot of fun. Now, <laughs> see what it says in the corner? That's the thing that nobody believes. 11 men on deck. So you get 11 men in here. I'm you sure they weren't tiny either. Not everybody, no. Because no, no. you're working underground, you're working a strenuous job, and yeah. But you do hire the smaller guys because you're, this is pick and tunnel mining. This isn't pit mining. Well, they probably worked off so the day. smaller the guy, the easier. Average calorie count was around 8,000 calories if you were lucky, uh -huh. just to be able to do this job. So I could eat whatever I wanted and just work my butt off. Now this side shaft is only about 500 feet. I won't stand on this one because it moves under your feet. Okay, not me either. And then this was for the engineer. No, 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 roof. That one doesn't have one. If anything falls down that mine shaft, it's gonna go right through you. Engineer, he's enclosed, he has doors, he has a roof. He's special. 
well, he has a college education, you protect that guy. Plus, because it doesn't fit to the sides of the mine shaft, you can get down faster. Keep on the go. Mm -hmm. Where that fits in the track, to pull it out of the track, you have to lift it all the way up. Yeah. See, this is as close to going into our mine as you can get. Our mine is copper sulfide, so, you know, figure sulfur gas, sulfuric acid, not your friend. So, check out this narrow roadway. The speed is five miles per hour. Most of Jerome is very narrow. I like the way it says, narrow roadway. Fred wouldn't come up this road. I don't think he would go down it either, would you? Probably not. Actually, I think it's just for the surgeon's house and the clubhouse residence only. Hello. Hey, it's a snake. This is a snake sanctuary, baby. We have hard-working bees. Do not disturb. I have a feeling they're probably hibernating right now. This narrow roadway is for the surgeon house bed and breakfast. So, surgeon's house, bed and breakfast. My opinion, best bed and breakfast in Arizona. The breakfast is worth whatever you're paying to stay there. So you can either look at it as you're getting the room for free or you're getting the breakfast for free. And it's not cheap, but oh my God, absolutely phenomenal. So we're in Jerome, Arizona at the Haunted Hamburger where we're getting ready to eat. Um, we have a little wait time, so we thought we'd tell you a little bit about the history of the Haunted Hamburger. It was bought um, when it was falling apart uh, many years ago by a couple and they rebuilt the place, but as they were rebuilding, their hammers started coming up missing. First the first one, then the second one. They didn't think anything of it. The third one came up missing, and they still didn't really think anything of it. They thought maybe they were forgetting where they laid them around. And as the build continued, someone asked them, have you seen from the ghost? And they're like, no, well, they really like they really like hammers. And then it clicked, wow. I bet those ghosts were taking the hammers. So it's said that as you buy a haunted place that the ghosts come out to greet you through the walls. And as they um, found out about the haunted hamburger being haunted, they then started to rediscover the hammers and they would show up in different places. They also uh, have witnessed cans coming off of the walls, flying through, and one man was walking up the steps and a door slammed almost in his face. They thought that might have been the currents of the wind, but he had just sealed up every window and door uh, for the winter. So, real interesting place. We are excited about um, spending some time here. And if you're in Jerome, uh, you might want to come check it out, but we'll let you know for sure how good that food is. Ghost. Is there a hammer on my table? You want to look out the window? Okay. Yeah. You want to buy it? Fried cauliflower. They're hot. And blue seam shake. With bacon. With bacon. Mm. Gotta have a boozy shake with your hamburger or your haunted hamburger. I agree. <laughs> I wonder if we'll catch a ghost. Oh my goodness, that looks delish. Suggested for the chocolate cake, but no room afterwards. Hey Fred. Fred, how was the food? Oh my goodness. They're trying to kill me in there. Death by cheeseburger. <laughs> what a way to go. Fred's about to get in a food coma. I am in a food coma. That's the uh, historical society. Here we could take a ghost adventure, learn history, discover mystery, ghost town tours. So the ghost part of the tourist some of it is just tourist, and I won't say which part, but some of it's real. I wasn't really a ghost believer until I moved here. You know, I, we all have had those experiences that you can't quite explain. I've had too many of them here to say that there's not something to it. I like to blame the copper. 
Well, because copper is a conductor of energy. And I think that all of these people who have deceased, I think that energy has to go somewhere, and this is the best condu natural conductor of energy. Well, I think that's what's going on. So Grand Hotel, this is our fourth hospital in Jerome. And she is considered the most haunted building in all of Arizona. Verde Valley, olive oil traders, free tastings. Oh wait, they're the only 13 stair steps away from olive oil heaven and balsamic vinegar bliss. Wicked city, Jerome, Arizona saloon. That's pretty cool. Hilltop Deli. Check out how tiny and narrow the city park is. Because <laughs> there is not much room here in Jerome. Jerome is definitely a very interesting town. We will come upstairs to experience exclusive haunted locations. Jerome Tattoo Parlor. You can get a haunted tattoo there. Ooh, we should get matching ghost tattoos. I've got a ghost tattoo. Where? It's invisible. You can't even see it. <laughs> you did it with invisible ink. Jerome Fire Department. So this is a Holy Family Church. It's a Catholic church. The signs so old you can't really read the writing. 